Welcome back to our Sanctus Reach Monday multiplayer matchups. I'm playing as the Space Wolves. We are going against the Orcs in an assault style map. So I will select our forces here and we'll get started shortly. Okay, I've selected our forces, so we're going to use the Free Blade. I did decide to take uh, the Great Wolf Lord, Logan Grimnar. He's so expensive, but I'd like to give him another shot. The Whirlwind, two Venerable Dreadnoughts. And with the Whirlwind, we'll get to bring our Ruin Priest, which will be excellent, so we can use his buffs on the Whirlwind. I have a Terminator, a uh, Wolfguard Terminator, with uh, Thunder Hammers, three Land Speeders, one Long Fang Laz Cannon, and I think that was everybody. So we have 30 points that we're not going to be able to use. Ideally, I'd also like to use the. Uh, the bikes as well because then you can use the all specs but unfortunately i haven't really been getting a lot of uh choices to select those forces recently so and this is just a random matchup so i don't really get to know who i'm going to be playing with which force selection or who i'm playing against so adds another um okay so i've deployed our forces here Land speeder to try to run and grab that, and same here, so he doesn't hopefully get too much line of sight on me. Move our forces up here, including the uh, free blade, to try to move him up to open up the center. The venerable dreadnoughts on each side to flank, with the whirlwind in the center, with the wolf priest to hopefully use the ruins of destruction. And these guys here, and the last cannon over on this side to see if they can continue to advance, and the Great Wolf hiding behind the Free Blade with the Land Speeder over here to see if he can get any more line of sight. All right, well, let's see what we all got going on here. He's got a weird boy just kind of sitting up there. Not sure what that's all about. I think I saw them. Yeah, he captured that. So let's pull you guys back. A little bit worried. I should have pulled him back farther. Because I'm a little bit worried that he's going to have just a bunch of guys there. Come on. Yeah, almost got him. All right. Pull you back a little bit. I guess I can move you guys up here. Maybe move you up here. I mean, ideally, I'd like to take this so he doesn't have line of sight there. But I think that's too far of a movement forward right now. I also forgot I was assaulting, so I assumed he had this capture because he had a bunch of guys in there, but that is not the case. The only other thing I'm trying to think of is should I advance over here? I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to do.
Maybe do something like that. We can have the land speeders kind of back each other up a little bit. Something like that. Well, that's not too bad. Took out a weird boy. The Killican with a rocket launcher, which are always a pain in the butt. Oh, that was not good. A little carried away there. fire into here. Try to get rid of the cover, I guess. Can you? You can. Shoot into this guy. Try to get rid of his armor. Technically shoot into both. Oh no! Alright, well let's do this. Let's move you over here. Ruin of destruction. Get you up here. Try to shoot into this. Try to disable that shield. Unsuccessful. Yeah. Oh god, there's a shooter boy up there. That's pretty disgusting. Ooh. 
Ja. So, what can I see? Judas coming in. Shoot into this guy. Sluggers. Er, knobs. Oop, mega knobs. Got the killer can over there. He's retreating. Got a lot of. Oh, my poor venerable dreadnought. Yikes. was worth it. Now I'm back to this situation again. Only I could take out this guy's shields. you did not do. I don't think this thing can take out shields. Oh, it can! Excellent, excellent. Yes, keep that up. Oh, I needed that so bad. I had no idea. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Well, that totally changes things. I bet that's because of the Wolf Priest, uh, Ruin Priest's ability to increase his damage. I bet that's why he did so much. I think that might be a tall tale. I think it gets to be a much bigger prey than that. Yeah, I guess it didn't, uh, all right, so they still got another super cannon up there. Got some knobs here. We've got some mega knobs, super cannon somewhere up there. Hopefully he won't be able to kill. My Wolf Lord. Maybe I'll move you guys over. Gotta keep the last cannons alive. 
guess I'll just keep you back here. Oh yeah, he attacked you. That's why you got damage. Alright, so went from what I thought was a disaster to not too bad. But it's all going to come down to taking out another cannon. He's going to keep pulling back, I suspect. Might as well just move you up. Because you can't boost the whirlwind anyways. Oh, I'm so pleased with uh, the Free Blades performance here, taking out that, yeah, taking out that Morganaut. That's such a huge thing for us. Completely changed the mission. Yeah, and you're too far away to be able to use your lightning. Yeah, hopefully they won't be able to kill. The Great Wolf. Don't think he's going to be able to run down. Maybe what I'll do is move you. Oh, you're still not close enough. That would be an off. Well, he could potentially do it, I guess. Well, let's treat it like he is and move you here and try to get as much guys for reaction fire as we can to try to protect the Great Wolf. I really thought the land speeder was going to do more damage to him after taking that reduced ballistics. I don't know how long that stays around. One, two, three, four, five. I suppose the other thing you could do is just run down the kill a can and then run the death dread down potentially. Okay, well, he conceded already. Um, I think I'll upload this video just to show what the Freeblade can do when you buff him up with the uh, Wolf Priest. That was really, really incredible. I was not expecting uh, such a successful uh, strategy to be used. I'm really happy I didn't use it on the Whirlwind given this uh, setup here. Uh, he ended up quitting a little soon, but I think it's pretty obvious we were going to end up winning. I think he probably had this Death Dread, uh, the Kill can and then we saw some units over here. Um, you know, it would have been good to still play it out a little bit more, but uh, he ended up conceding. So, and I feel like the Morkonaut really got a buff to take out these Venerable Dreadnoughts, too. They really do quite a bit of damage with that uh, cannon, so that's good to know too. So if you need to kill one of those Venerable Dreadnoughts and you got the Morganaut, just shoot into it. 150 damage, uh, guaranteed. But uh, quick mission.
Quick mission. Uh, he's a very good player, so uh, I got several other games going with him right now, so we'll see what the uh, tally is. Ended up losing the one Venerable Dreadnought, take out four of his, so came out ahead. If you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. Otherwise, I'll continue to upload Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach multiplayer matchups. If you've noticed the last couple of weeks, they've been a little bit late with the uploads. That's because I'm having difficulty with people completing games. Uh, a lot of people are starting games, and I'm not sure if they're getting corrupted. And then the other player is not... Uh, playing them because they don't see that I've actually completed the turn or if they're just not going back to the game um, but I would say probably about 60 to 70 percent of the games I've started are uh, getting timed out by Slytherin because the other player isn't doing their turn so hopefully this won't be a trend uh, that continues because I'd like to continue to be able to upload these Monday multiplayer matchups for you but if I'm unable to complete uh, matchups then I guess that'll bring this uh, multiplayer matchup series to an end unfortunately so hopefully it's just a fluke over the last uh, month but we'll continue to see what i can do thanks again for watching and have a great day